Hello, I'm Kate Ellis. Have you ever heard that pain is a perception? What do I mean by that? Have you ever heard of somebody saying I have a high pain tolerance and other people saying I have a low pain tolerance? How is that possible when we all have the same nerve endings? I have a clinical practice in Scottsdale, Arizona. I am a clinical counseling hypnotherapist in practice for over 24 years. I had a client once who had severe migraine headaches. She had gone from doctor to doctor and getting no relief in some of the doctors. This is back in the 1970s would give her pain prescriptions that really did not allow her to function very well. She was working s several jobs as a waitress and she had three children to raise on her own essentially. She wasn't really getting that much spousal support. Anyway, eventually she had found a chiropractor and the chiropractor had corrected, had said that, oh, C2 and C3 are out of alignment and he aligned those back and her headaches were gone miraculously. And so she would go for these adjustments to the chiropractor. However, the problem was is that she would have to start going more and more frequently. And finally, fortunately, this chiropractor was uh, very aware and he says, you know what? This is something that is psychological. This is an emotional issue. I will continue to work with you, but I do implore you to see a psychologist or a hypnotherapist. And then she came to see me. I hypnotized this woman who was in her 40s at the time and I simply asked her subconscious mind what is the originating cause of your migraine headaches? What occurred next? I did not expect, I did not anticipate in any way shape or form. This client had spontaneously gone into a past life where she's now a 16 year old young girl who lived on a farm. She was dressed in very common clothes. She had described it as a sack cloth. And she was opening up the barn door to enter to do her morning chores. And when she did so, somebody had come up behind her and had hit her in the back of the head with a shovel two times and murdered her. Well, of course, I didn't anticipate this, and this client had experienced the, the, the pain of dying again. And so immediately I had her remove herself uh, as experiencing it as a direct first person into an observer. And I did what's called a desensitization process in terms of going over and over what had happened again until it becomes a story something that no longer has that emotional charge. This is something that we do with PTS. It's where you go over the situation until it simply becomes a story, but you're not emotionally affected by that. I have found out that from that moment forward, that client never experienced a migraine headache again. Was it a past life? Was she truly murdered as a 16-year-old girl by some unknown assailant? Or was this a story that her subconscious had made up in order to explain the nature of the migraine headaches? I will never know. I don't know. I truly don't know. And I truly do not care. What I care about is, is that that client no longer experiences the headache. Sometimes the subconscious of the psyche will make up a particular type of story or come up with a story in which will give an explanation that the conscious mind can understand, evaluate, process, and then deal with. Pain is a perception, and whether it's emanating from some past life, which is pretty remote, or if it's coming from some time in this life, I can help you with that. You can dial down the amount of pain in which you are experiencing. You have that ability. If you've ever gone through childbirth as a woman, you know if you've had a midwife or you've taken Lamar's and they have you doing the breathing. It helps relax you. It helps alleviate the pain. 
if you would like to discuss more about how I may help you with any pain or discomfort in which you're going through, please contact me through my website, thehealingquest.com. You can email directly at kellis19 at hotmail.com or perhaps you'd like to chat. You may call me at 480-695-1936 between the hours of 10 a.m. and 11 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. Thank you very much for your time. Good night.